somebody tried to give someone else something. It was a gift, money, time, love, attention, something. Somebody tried to give another person something and that person rejected it. Whoever this person is who, who got rejected, I feel like this person has done several things over a period of time. They keep trying to come towards this person, trying to be kind, but this person, oh, sh this person who they are trying to kind of rope in or get to love them, pay them some attention, have admiration, respect for them, or whatever, this person, first of all, has some sort of mental imbalance. They're also, they love this person, but they don't like this person. There's, there's energy of jealousy here. There's some sort of resentment here as well. Pay attention, pay attention to what has transpired, okay? This part, there is a person, I feel like this is between two people, okay? Now, there are a lot of people on the side who's talking about something, who's talking about some, th some things that have went down, right? Like a little audience of people who know something that happened, but this is between two people, Okay? I feel like somebody tried to give someone else something. It was a gift, money, time, love, attention, something. Somebody tried to give another person something and that person rejected it. No, thank you. They did this likely in front of a large group of people. When it happened, those people did not say anything. They all just kind of looked around like, whoa but nobody said anything. The person who was rejected laughed it off, did not complain about it. They, they kind of acted like it wasn't a big deal, um, made fun of it maybe, but this person was deeply hurt. I strongly feel like this was a gift. I feel like it was a gift or a card, like, like a, a greeting card or something to do with a gift, okay? Like I'm trying to give somebody something and they're like, no, thank you. They're like, no, keep it for yourself. No, thank you. Or they're like, what am I going to do with that? Okay, so this, this happened, right? This person walked away, tail between their legs, kept it moving. Didn't mention it again, didn't bring it up. But I feel like they kept the gift and used it for themselves, but they kept this gift. Now, Spirit did not like this. Let me also say this, whoever this person is who, who got rejected, I feel like this person has done several things over a period of time. They keep trying to come towards this person, trying to be kind. But this person, oh, sh this person who they are trying to kind of rope in or get to love them, pay them some attention, have admiration, respect for them or whatever. This person, first of all, has some sort of mental imbalance. They have some sort of mental, I've, I've, I'm going to use the word disease, some sort of mental disease, mental imbalance. They're also, they like this person, but they love this person, but they don't like this person. There's, there's energy of jealousy here. There's some sort of resentment here as well. There is, um, there is gossip here too. Like this person who, who has rejected this other person, they talk about them. It's interesting because I see both. I see that this person talks about them negatively, but also cries about this person. Like, 
wanting to be closer to them, wanting to be like around them, wanting them to come around. Spirit just said, but they only plan to abuse them again when they come around them again. And when I ask Spirit why, okay, so the person who's doing the rejecting here, they 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 think that this other person is like awesome, dynamic, very popular, maybe pretty or or handsome. Um, I feel like this person is charismatic. But when they come around this this person who rejects them, the, this person wants them to to lower all of those levels of beauty and charis, uh, charisma and um, intelligence. They they want them to like take all of that off and put it over to the side and just be a plain person for them. This person also wants to be able to control this person they find beautiful and who they love, but they don't like. They don't like them because they cannot control them. Like this this person over here may often um, say things that are intelligent, that may be transformative, and this other person doesn't like it. They Now, they don't necessarily disagree, but they don't like the delivery from this person, and they don't like that it's coming from this person. Now, let me also say to you here, there's some sort of educational um, imbalance or difference here. So one person... I feel like it's highly educated. And I feel like that's the rejector. I feel like the rejector is highly educated. But the person they're rejecting is not. However, the person who they are rejecting has a different type of intelligence that you don't get in schools. This is an intelligence that comes from street smarts and common sense and spiritual prowess this this person is very in tune in depth I mean like I feel like I, I I gotta tell you what I feel in this right now I feel like my heart is being pulled pulled towards pulled towards this person I just want to sit at a table and listen to them talk I want to talk back and forth with them I want to get their opinion on some things I want to see how they see the world I'm engaged. I want to hear what this person has to say. I want to hear it. I, so whoever this person is that's being rejected, I feel like people attract to listen to them. They like them. Now, on the same vein, I'm, I'm asking Spirit, I was like, is this person egoic? No, but, but. You know what let me say this this person might be egoic this person might be egoic from time to time but in majority I feel like they are um, they're just very confident that confidence rubs off as as um, an uncomfortable feeling for for other people The person with the education feels like this other person shouldn't feel so high and mighty because they haven't earned it in institutions. But the truth is, if you set these two people next to each other, one person would excel in things you learn in a book. The other person would excel in things you learn in life. And the person who knows things from the book feels like the person who knows things from life thinks they're smarter than them. That's why they don't like this person. Let's get back to the rejection. Spirit did not like the way or the, the manner, the reason, Spirit just said the reason that they rejected this person in front of this large group of people. So what Spirit did was, this has happened already. So I this reading is coming up to tell you to pay attention to something that happened in the past. It's going to release you. Okay, so stick with me. After this rejection happened, 
you or the person I'm talking to walked away with their tail between their legs. They didn't mention it again. They didn't bring it up. But these people talked about it. And this person who did the rejection felt very good that they rejected, rejected the other person. But I feel like the universe spirit came in and inconvenienced this person in a major way, but in the same way, in the same way, but bigger. And I feel like somebody here hasn't noticed that that happened. Maybe neither of you noticed that that happened. But I feel like this person the rejector tried to give something to this other person. It could have been almost, it was a lot of time had passed between this. I feel like there could, it could have been anywhere between six months to a year. Time had passed. This rejector came towards this other person and they tried to give them something. And the other person wanted to take it. They wanted to take it, but they couldn't. Something stopped them from taking it. Like they, they, like physically, or they could not take it. Like they, they would have if they could have, but they couldn't. And it was something that came between them and accepting whatever this gift was. It was any. It was not their fault. It was not their fault. It was nothing they caused. It was not their intention to not take this. But the universe showed up to make this person, the rejector, spend money on something, try to give it to someone, or try to give it to this person. That person had to decline it or send it back or not accept it or something came to halt it and never reached them. Something like that happened. And then this person either had to pay to get it back or something about them. They spent a lot of money. They wasted a lot of money. They wasted time. The fact that this person could not accept the gift hurt their feelings. There was something that has already taken place where this person has, the universe has already paid them back for the way they played this person. The universe paid them back already. But something tells me that neither the rejector or the or the person who was rejected has recognized that karma played out already. Neither of them recognize it. But I want you to pay, whoever I'm talking to, pay attention. Because I feel like when, when karma plays itself back, it's often where the person who the deed was done um, bad to, they're not a part of the, the karmic justice or they don't get to necessarily see the karmic justice. In this particular case, not only did this person actually get to witness the karmic justice, but they were a part of it. They were a part of the karmic justice. And the beautiful thing about it is this played out so naturally that neither of them actually noticed that this was karma. However, that rejector felt everything they made this other person feel when they rejected them in front of the crowd. When they rejected this person in front of the crowd, all of that sadness, pain that that person played off, this person almost felt again six months to a year later. Spirit just told me it is time to release them from this now. It is time to. So I am likely talking to the person who was rejected, okay? Spirit just said you're talking to the rejector too, so both of you are likely coming across this video. Now, a lot of times when you listen to readings, you don't know, you're like, I don't, that doesn't make any sense for me. That doesn't, mm, I don't think this is my story. And then some of you know right away that it's yours. The person I'm talking to, this won't click in for you for a little bit of time. You're gonna think back and be like, wait a second. I do know what she's talking about. I'm talking to a feminine energy too. The one who's going to come back later. I feel like three is significant. You're either going to come back three days later or three weeks later. And you're going to be like, 
yeah this is this is actually this does make sense this does resonate now that now I remember okay but let me also say this really quickly before I shut this reading down and move on somebody here is going to go through an ego death somebody here is about to experience some level of embarrassment um, and it could be something as simple as you having to do something without looking your best, without any makeup on. Um, you might have to do something without um, your best outfit on. Or you may find yourself in the middle of something very important, dressed like you were just running out of the store really quickly to go to, running out of the house really quickly to like run to Walmart and come back, right? You, somebody here is going to find themselves in an embarrassing situation. This is for your greater good. When this happens, be vulnerable in the moment. You don't have to act tough. You don't have to act like um, this is, you don't care. It don't mean nothing to you. It's no big deal. If you feel uncomfortable, you can say that. And you can say why you feel uncomfortable, how you would like to present to the world versus how you are presenting to the world in the moment. You will connect with an audience that will have compassion for you and understand, but you are going to, someone here is going to go through an ego death. I feel like um, a large group of you are going to be going through times where you are embarrassed or exposed and the real you has to stay.